Morning guys. Reading through some of the comments, a few people mentioned about relationships and how their wife made them um, pay for relatives, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. Look, you make your own decisions. It's nobody else's fault but your own if you let somebody manipulate you. Um, in, in reality, it's a bit like, I, mean, I used to see all this stuff when I was first going out to the Philippines where people were talking about taking on board the culture and all this. Do you know what? They don't mention about absorbing your culture, your background, your way of life. It's all about bending over and yielding. Utter nonsense. What you've got to do is recognize someone's cultures, but you don't have to yield to it. That's one of the big problems we have in society today, is we're often yielding to somebody else's culture that couldn't give a damn about ours. Um, so I can't understand why somebody would pay for someone's entire siblings. There's no reason for it. If they don't want to work, fine. Doesn't mean you have to become their benefit office. There's nothing there's nothing that you need to do on that. And I do know a few people that do it um, and they let their wives do it to them. I mean, one of the things that frustrates some of the guys, even though they're not paying out their own pocket, is their wife sends all their money home um, while they, the, the guy's paying all the bills. Well, that's because you let that happen. There's always a way around that, which is simply say, right, you're in charge of the mortgage or rent or whatever and you give them some of the bills they have to pay for themselves. Job done. It doesn't matter if they kick and scream about it. The point is, they're allowing other people to manipulate them, that then they manipulate you. But the only way to deal with that is break the cycle. There's no other way around it. There's no point being married for 20, 30 years and then going, oh, well, we had to pay for it. No, you didn't have to pay nothing. You didn't have to pay a thing. It's, I mean, I've had this even in work where I've had uh, bosses say, well, you must do this or we must do that. You know, like, for example, oh, you must be at this site at 8, uh, eight o'clock. I said, there's no must in anything. I have a choice. I can say no. And they're like, well, what, what do you mean? I said, well, if you read my contract, I don't start work till half eight. So the point being is, I don't have to be there at all. If I, if I say no, there's nothing you can do about it. So don't sit there making demands of me because I won't put up with it. I won't. And it may sound a bit um, blunt, but the reason you do that is to stop them doing it. Because they start making decisions to suit themselves or the two week for a client um, that affect you and not them, because they won't be there at that time of morning. I'll tell you that now. That's why they've got you to go. Because they don't want to do it themselves. So it's the same when you get into a relationship. Don't assume that you have to pick all this stuff up. There is no written rule on any of this. Culturally, it may be acceptable that their people will sit and take money off the, uh, the foreign or whatever. But the point is, it doesn't mean you have to accept it just because they do. It, in fact, it just doesn't encourage anybody to get off their backside when you do it. Um, I've got some friends that actually hinder their, yeah, well, they've talked to a par that partner I'll give the amount of money every month that they wanted to because they know that the relatives will simply stop working. You see it even in uh, food aid and charity organisations. As soon as you develop something where people can sit on their backside and not have to go and get it themselves, you start to get people surviving on it and doing very little else. You know, you'll get people wait at food points known as food every day at a certain time so they stop going looking for food which they used to do because you're now fulfilling that need and it's just the way people are um, but the one thing you can't do is sit there and blame someone else because you allow them to make your decisions for you you've got to make those decisions not not them when they go oh well I have to send money to I said, where's the must? Why? Who says so? Oh yeah, but they, they haven't got a lot of money. And they never had a lot of money before. And what are they going to do with this extra money? Are they going to um, build a small business? They're going to do something useful with it? Or are they just going to sit there and rely on it coming every month? 
a lot of the time simply rely on the money and that's it um, and that, that's what I, the main point here is unless it's actually going to help people um, I don't recommend it because you're only encouraging people to not actually pull their finger out the other side of this being is that you don't have to do it there's nothing stated anywhere that you have to do it. I don't remember seeing it in any marriageable, uh, marital, marital agreement that you have to do it. But it's often an easy cop out to blame the wife for doing this stuff when what it is is you haven't been firm enough in the first place to say, no, I ain't doing this. Or, oh yes, my wife's a scammer because she was sending all her money back rather than helping her. You haven't told her to help you. You haven't made her do it. You haven't turned around and said, well, you can send money home, but you need to put $600 or 500 pounds into the, the house bills every month. Then whatever you earn, you know, in the sense of it's their money, then do what they like with. It's not your problem. But one thing you should never do is make their problems your problem. Because there is often a lot of this leaning on somebody, everything get away with it. You'll even see it culturally uh, well you'll actually physically see it you'll see people lean on each other I mean that that pretty much sums it up if somebody if somebody's that sat there and they can lean on them people will lean on them um, but one thing's for sure you certainly don't have to be doing it there's nothing written anywhere and it's something I don't recommend because it never stops if anything trying to cut the money off becomes harder the longer you've let it run and that's a very important thing is like if you can cut it off early it, it doesn't keep coming back you'll find that once it's cut off it's cut off um, because they all have their hissy fits for a while but after that that'll be it you won't you won't get anybody bother you about it again you'll get some people that don't want to talk to you anymore um, you'll get some people that will throw the dummy out of the pram you get other people go okay it's fine the point being is you whatever way you look at it you're still gonna have to deal with that at some point otherwise you get what you get which is you complain that oh your wife gives all her salary away your wife does this your wife does... that's because you let her do it I mean if she decides to if she pays half the bills and then sends her money home that well more fool her but at the same time more fool you if you pay all the bills and she sends her salary home or more even bigger fool you if she sends her sends some of your salary home and you pay all the bills thanks for watching